Hey, fifth graders, Mr. Bell here. Ready to do some new art? All right, let's go. Today, you're going to use what's called analogous colors on your project. Analogous colors are groups of three or more colors that are right next to each other on the color wheel. For instance, if you look down here, you'll see green, blue, green, and blue. This is a cold analogous color scheme because they're all cold colors. And let's take a look at the color wheel here. Here's the whole color wheel. All the colors of the rainbow put into a circle. And you will see green is right next to blue green, which is right next to blue. Cold analogous color scheme. Let's look down here and you have red, red, orange, and orange. Look at the color wheel, and red, red, orange, and orange. Okay? So keep that in mind when you're working on your project. As you group your warm colors together and your cold colors together making sure they are analogous. So what you're going to do on this project is make a wave project and you'll see that the waves are all cold colors and they are put in an analogous color scheme. So you have blue-green, blue, blue-violet, blue and violet, also known as purple. And the sun back here, this is a good example of radial balance also. You have yellow, yellow-orange, orange, red-orange, red and red. So you have one, two, three, four, five colors here and one, two, three, four colors here. All right, let me show you how you make this. This is a really fun project to do. It's got lots of movement in it and a lot of bright colors in the background, cold colors in the foreground. So here we go. Let's start with the wave first. We'll have it spin around this way. All right. And you want to make three more lines. One. Two. Notice how all the lines converge at this one point on the wave, the part that's bent over. And one more. And kind of out of space there. That's good. That's just going to go down to the bottom there. That'll give us one, two, three, four sections for four analogous colors. And then when you make the sun, just go to the side of the wave here. You're not going to show the whole circle because you want part of it to be behind this part of the wave. It's like hidden behind. One. Two. Try to keep these as circular as you can. You have to imagine the rest of it's back here, but you don't want to draw that. Okay, that's two. Three. Just go up into there. We can imagine it connects. And the last one. And that's just going to go over to there. Yeah, you might see part of it over here. Okay. Double check everything. All right. There we go. And then you are ready to begin. So you are going to use your yellow first. Because you want to do the warm colors first. 
and then the cold colors and the waves last because these are the brighter colors and they might overlap the wave a little bit and it's easier to cover them up with a darker color okay we'll start here and color in that circle you want to color this nice and good get it all filled in so you don't see any white paper showing through this is the focal point of the project. People are going to notice this, they'll notice this wave, they'll notice this area first. Then you're going to go to yellow-orange. Make sure you look at your crayons carefully and you see that it says yellow-orange. It's a tertiary color. I'm going to make sure you use the correct one. A lot of these orange crayons look the same. The paper looks very similar, but I like to put um, lines like this first so I can get the direction I want these lines to go better and yes you want to overlap a little bit on the yellow make sure it overlaps a little bit you don't want to have a gap there and it's okay if you go past the line right here Be careful by the waves you don't want to go on them too much with your crayon if you don't like going too far like that. You can just do a little part of it first like this and then do the next part so you can use shorter strokes. Brush all the extra crayon off. After the yellow orange you're going to move on to orange. Make sure you're using the correct one. Again, you can use these as a guideline to go by. It's very helpful. And any parts that are back here. Alright, and then I have to get along here first. of it. It'll help keep it neater. Just keep on going. Keep on going. And then the next color and the next color. As you keep on working on this, I'm fast forwarding a little bit so I don't run out of time to do this video. So far I have yellow, yellow orange, orange, red orange, and now I'm ready for red. I can come in here and get all the red. Sometimes you have to go over it twice to get it dark enough. get into the waves you could get the edges at your house if uh, you're scared of making a mess you can slide another sheet of paper underneath go like this you don't want to mess up your kitchen table or wherever you might be doing your work so be careful about that I know when I was a kid, my mom always made me put a sheet of paper underneath or something, a notebook. Whoops. So I didn't make a mess out of the table and ruin the finish. Just keep on going. Watch your corners, pick it up. If you try to come back, it could go like that. You know how easily that happens. Try to get that corner done so I can use it to hold it down. If you 
hold it down really good. You can get the edge real good like that. All right. There's the sun all finished. And now it's time for the waves. So we want to start with the blue green right here. And this you just have to follow. Some people might like to trace this first as a guideline. There we go. And then I might not want to go as fast as I'm going. I don't want to run out of time for my video. There we go. All right. And I can use some longer strokes in here. Of course, you can go a lot slower than I'm going. Be real careful around these edges. And here. Pay real close attention to what colors come after what colors on the color wheel. You can always look that up on the internet also. Or as I'm explaining it through this video, write it down. There we go. There's the first blue. Sometimes you get little flakes of crayon and you can get your fingernail and try to get it off like this and clean it up a little bit. And those dark flakes of crayon get on the sun. You don't want to keep those on there. You want to scrape them off gently. After blue green comes blue. So then I'll do blue next. After blue will come blue violet. Blue violet. Careful, it looks a lot. The paper looks very similar on blue violet and violet, which is the same thing as purple. So after blue comes blue violet. That'll be blue violet. I'm only doing parts of these, but you want to go all the way around. Then after blue violet comes violet, also known as purple. careful with that along that edge where the yellow and everything is. Do that real slowly. You want to make that look good. And you're just going to keep on working your way all the way around. If it comes off the paper this way, you might only have a little part to do along here. And down along there. Okay, let's fast forward to the finished product. Here we go. Zoom in a little bit. And here we go. To recap, yellow, yellow orange, orange, red orange, red, blue green, blue, blue violet, violet also known as purple. And that is the project. Swooshy wave with the bright sunset in the background. Okay, boys and girls, those are your analogous colors. Take your time, draw neatly, color neatly. When you're finished, please send a picture of it to me. Can't wait to see them. Have a great time working on this. They're going to come out awesome. Bye.